Perception is reality. Everything you do affects perceptions in some way. Brian Tracy, how would you like to be more popular and welcomed by people in your social or business circles? Well, you can be by learning how to become more charming. In every interaction with others, one of the deepest human needs is the desire to feel important. When you go through life building self-confidence and making other people feel important and valuable, they will like you, welcome you, and open every door for you. This is the secret to learning how to become popular, both professionally and personally. If you're in business, becoming a charming person and making others feel important will help you in every business situation, from negotiating terms to borrowing money to influencing key customers. If you're in sales, the way customers feel about you and feel when they're with you will determine your level of sales and referrals more than any other factor in your personal, family, and social life. Learning to be more charming will make you more popular, desirable, influential, and persuasive more than any other quality. You might think that you need to be born with charm, but although uh, some people seem to come by it naturally, charm is something that you can actually learn. No matter how skilled, smart, or experienced you may be, most of your abilities to succeed at anything depend on your ability to win people over, to convince them, to charm them. It's important to note that the deepest craving of human nature is the need to feel valued and important. Therefore, the secret of charm and improving your people skills is to make others feel important. The more important you make people feel in your presence, the more charming they will perceive you to be. So how do you become a genuinely charming person? Here are the five A's to mastering charm, acceptance, appreciation, approval, admiration, and attention. Let's start with the first A, acceptance. The greatest gift you can give other people is the attitude of unconditional positive regard. That is, you accept them in their entirety without limitation. The best way to express complete acceptance is simple. You smile. When you smile with happiness at seeing people, their self-esteem jumps automatically. They feel important and valuable, and they like the person who is making them feel this way. The second A is appreciation. You can show your appreciation by simply saying thank you on every occasion for any large or small reason. Make it a habit to thank everyone in your world for everything they do. Thank your secretary for her work. Thank your spouse for his help. Thank your children for anything that they do that you appreciate. Whenever you smile or say thank you to another person, not only does that person's self-esteem and feeling of importance jump, but so does yours. You actually like yourself more each time you do or say anything that causes other people to like themselves more. And the more you like yourself, the more you will genuinely like and care about others, and the less concerned you will be about whether you are making a good impression, making your charm even more natural. The third A is approval. All human beings have a deep subconscious need for approval. For this reason, giving approval or praise to others often will make them feel wonderful about themselves and they will find you to be more interesting, more perceptive, highly likable, and extremely charming. The fourth A is admiration. Whenever you give people a sincere, genuine compliment about a trait, possession, or accomplishment, they automatically feel better about themselves. They feel acknowledged and recognized. They feel valuable and important. So compliment a person on an article of clothing or on a trait like punctuality or persistence or on an award that they've won. Compliment for small things as well as for large things. The fifth A is attention. This is perhaps the most important quality of all for becoming charming. It's the most powerful behavior for building rapport and is the key to instant charm. When you pay close attention to other people, the more valuable and important they will feel they are. If someone wants to talk to you, immediately discontinue all other activities and give that person your entire attention. Listen as if you are transfixed by what they are saying, and then take a moment to pause before replying, rather than jumping in as soon as they take a breath. This shows that you actually heard the person, not only what they said, but what they meant. Remember to smile. In every interaction, each person has a deep down need to be accepted unconditionally by other people without judgment or criticism. And how do you express this unconditional positive regard? Simple, just smile. An open, honest, happy to see you smile warms people's hearts, makes them feel important, and causes them to unconsciously like you from the first moment. Go through life looking for little opportunities to make people feel valuable and special. 
Smile at them as if you're glad to see them. Thank them regularly, compliment them sincerely, praise them lavishly, and listen to them when they speak, building self-confidence and promoting high self-esteem. Soon, almost without effort on your part, everyone will be talking about what a charming person you are. Becoming popular is more about how you treat others than how others treat you. Consider your social status to be an echo or a reflection of the social energy you emit into the world. Remember to treat others as if they are more important than you are. Eventually, those feelings will be reciprocated and you'll find yourself near the top of the social ladder. Peter Drucker said, successful people are both effective and efficient, which means they do the right things and they do them right. Just a quick reminder that this week I launched my goals quick start masterclass. Learn the what, why, and how of goal setting with three quick and easy to follow lessons, plus a workbook and action plan. And the best part, it's only $27 and it can change your life. Click the link in the description for more details. Not everyone follows the same path to success. With that said though, there are certain traits that most successful people have in common. If you've been looking for a way to quickly boost your own progress towards your goals, here are some qualities that all successful people make use of almost every day. First, successful people wake up early. The early morning hours are the most valuable hours in the entire day. Successful people recognize this and take full advantage of these valuable hours by waking up as early as possible. A recent study on self-made millionaires found that most of them get up before 6 a.m. and begin work on themselves, physical fitness, or their work immediately. Waking up earlier than normal adds usable hours to your day each day and forces you to go to bed earlier. If you start waking up just one hour earlier each morning, you'll have an extra 30 hours a month and an extra 360 hours a year to get more accomplished. Best of all, the early morning hours will also be when you're at your most refreshed and motivated. If you use these hours to get ahead on your most important tasks, you'll have finished before anyone else is awake. One of my favorite lines comes from a minister who said, the first hour is the rudder of the day. The first hour establishes the direction of what will happen for the rest of the day. Second, successful people hang out with other successful people. One of the most important secrets to success is this. You tend to become like the people that you spend most of your time with. This can be either a benefit or a drawback, depending on who your closest friends are. For successful people, it's most often a benefit as successful people tend to hang out with other successful people. If you want to be successful yourself, you should do the same. Human beings have a subconscious evolutionary tendency to mimic and adopt the traits of the people they spend the most time with. It's a process that encourages bonding between individuals, but it's also one that can offer many more benefits beyond this. If you hang out with the right people, spending time with successful people will cause you to adopt their same mindsets, their traits, and more increasingly, their own odds of becoming successful. Third, successful people read as much as possible. If there's one thing that almost all successful people, all leaders, have in common, it's the fact that they are avid readers. Warren Buffett reads five to six hours every day, and he's one of the richest people in the history of the world. We live in an era where it is possible to read an unlimited amount of information on an unlimited range of topics. Today, it's possible to teach yourself almost anything as long as you have an internet connection and time to spend reading. Of course, reading printed material is just as valuable as it has always been. You can learn a lot from reading books, magazines, and papers. Sometimes one idea or insight in one article, book, or magazine, even a newspaper, can change your life completely. I have had at least three or four occasions where I clearly remember earning more than a million dollars in the next one or two years from one idea and one article and one magazine that set me off in a different direction and gave me a special insight. But these ideas and insights are of no value to you if you don't expose yourself to them and you can never tell where they are. So you have to practice what we call the law of probabilities. You don't know which idea is gonna help you, so you must expose yourself to as many ideas as possible so you can be sure not to miss the exact one that you need at the time that you need it. Remember, you can learn a lot from reading books, magazines, and newspapers. Get in the habit of reading as much as possible. It sets you on a path of continuous education 
that will go on long after your school days are behind you. The more you know, the more likely you are to be successful, and nothing teaches you more than reading every single day. As a great man once said, reading is to the mind as exercise is to the body. Fourth, successful people plan their day the night before, before they go to sleep each night. Successful people take the time to plan out what they want to accomplish the next day. Planning out your day the night before can provide you with a roadmap to your day. It's a great way to structure your tasks and activities each day, and it's also a great source of motivation. Each night before you go to bed, take the time to write down what you want to accomplish the next day. Then rank those tasks from most to least important. What I do is I use A, B, C, D, E as a way of organizing my tasks. A is something that you must do. B is something that you should do, but not as important as A. C is something that would be nice to do, but not as important as A or B. And then D is something that you can delegate if you want to, and E is something that you can eliminate. It really doesn't need to be done. So A, B, D. Many people have told me that using those letters has made them rich because it kept them focused on just those tasks that were really the most important. When you wake up in the morning, start by completing the most important tasks on your list first. Doing this will activate your subconscious mind so that you wake up in the morning motivated and ready to get started. You'll actually look forward hungrily to getting up and getting going. Finally, successful people learn from their failures. That's how they become rich. How you approach failure is by far one of the most important factors in determining whether or not you will be successful. Failure is something that everyone has in common and even the most successful people in the world have failed countless times over the course of their lives. Successful people, however, don't see failure as a permanent setback, but rather as a learning opportunity. They always say, what did we learn from this experience? I am working on a subject for my business seminars called Learning from Failure, which was actually pioneered by Harvard Business Review, Harvard University, and they find that the systematic evaluation of a failure can lead a company to be extraordinarily successful financially. However, it doesn't do any good if you have a failure and brush it aside, or even worse, complain about it, or even worse, blame somebody else for it. The more you can study your failures, the more likely it is you will turn that failure into a big success. Some of the richest and most successful people in the world have done exactly this. Failure can be an excellent teacher if you are open to the lessons that it is showing you. Treating failure as a learning opportunity enables you to grow and adapt, learning what works and what doesn't, and steadily improving your approach as you go along. If you want to hone yourself into a more successful person, honing is what you do with a knife to make it sharper and sharper. It's essential to embrace failures when they come along and learn from them rather than letting them hold you back or discourage you. Now, we'd love to hear from you, so our question today is, what benefits would becoming more popular have to you? Leave a comment below, and we'll be sure to follow up with you. Thanks for watching, and as Brian always says, if you want to change your future, take action. And take action now. If you enjoyed this video and feel it was valuable, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share this video with your friends. Don't forget to click the button on the screen for a free gift. Thanks again for watching.